Hey guys, Rod here at A Better Way to Farm, where we spend every day looking how to make your farming operation just a little bit better. Today we're going to call this Four Lessons from Baseball. I had the privilege this week of taking my oldest grandson to a St. Louis Cardinals ball game. And Chase and I had an amazing time, and if he wasn't, of course, being held captive by the school system, I'd have had him here with me to help shoot this. And you can look forward to school's about to get over with, and I'll be letting those kids do some help here with me in the near future. But let's talk about four things we learned on Wednesday. Number one, errors don't win ball games. The Cardinals had kind of a tough go Tuesday and Wednesday, and they couldn't seem to, like, get it together. And uh, they had innings where they had more than one error. And it's just astounding to me to see how these guys who make millions of dollars, I'm going to put a side note in here. For those of you that coach Little League, when that kid drops that ball, when that kid lets that ball go between his legs, please remember this. People who make $10 million a year make errors. They're not perfect. So that kid that's 10 years old, we can expect him to do that. Encourage your coaches to encourage the kids, not yell at them. Okay, but the bottom line is errors don't win ball games, and we watched the Cardinals make multiple errors and it just didn't work. But on the flip side, the bright side, errors are not fatal. Hopefully, if we make a mistake, we can come back. The second thing that we learned was you have to score some runs to win. The Cardinals lost five to zero. Now you can play great defense and you can keep the other team from scoring very many. You can keep them from scoring at all. But if you do that, you end up with a very long game with a 0-0 zero, zero score because somebody has to score. So in order to win, you got to put some points on the board. How do we put points on the board? Well, I've been encouraging everybody that when we get the chance to sell some $4 corn, we ought to put a few points on the board and sell some. And when we get the chance to sell some $10 beans, we ought to put some points on the board and sell some. We got to put some points on the board by making good decisions each and every day. Because you see, sometimes four and three tie together. Sometimes I watch the Cardinals, they just didn't show up Wednesday. They didn't walk like they were serious. They couldn't concentrate. I don't know what the problem was. I watched the game last night. They had total focus. Plays that looked impossible were being made. I watched a young at shortstop knock a ball down, roll over three times, come up and gun the guy out at first. It's the same guy that I watched drop a line drive, hit right to him basically on Wednesday. And so it's about a mindset, but we know that errors don't win games, but they don't have to be fatal. And we know that we have to score some runs. Even if it's just one, we gotta score a run to win. The third thing that I learned was that in, in the game of life, we've gotta be able to find joy all the time. And sometimes in the United States, we confuse happiness and joy. And we got a whole bunch of people that are chasing happiness. And I want to encourage you to chase joy. Joy is a feeling in the soul. Joy is that even though the Cardinals did not play a good game on Wednesday, I had complete joy. Why? Karen's going to put a picture up here in just in a little bit of my grandson holding up a sign. And he's all, we were down 5 nothing by the time he's holding that sign up but he was happy and there was joy. And I could find joy in that moment. I wasn't there to see the Cardinals win or lose. I was there to have an experience with my grandson. And we got to have a great day. We got to talk all the way to the stadium. We got to talk half the way home because he fell asleep on the way home. But we had the best time. And so in our life, one of the things that we want to do, the lessons we want to get is we want to be able to find joy. Oh, there'll be things that'll go wrong. The tractor will break down. The cows will get out. Something will happen. But we can still find joy in the moment, in the sunset, in the relationship with our spouse, with our children, in the fact that we are honored enough to get to farm. Think about this. 97% of the population is going to go to bed tonight, and they don't have the pleasure of farming. And that's really sad. And the last lesson that I want to talk about is this. Tomorrow can always be better than today. No matter if today was great or today was not great. I watched the Cardinals have a really tough day on Wednesday. And in spite of that, we found joy. But on Thursday, it was much better. On Wednesday, they couldn't find home plate. That's why they had zero. On Thursday, they scored 16 runs because tomorrow can be a better day. Tomorrow can be the best day ever. Tomorrow can be 
great. And I want to encourage you that sometimes we are in the middle of some things. We may make some errors. There may be some things going on, but we can still try to put a few points on the board. We can still find joy. We can know our mistakes are not fatal. And we know that tomorrow can be better, and it will. And I hope this finds you having a better day.